Well, my friends, now let's start our English class. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the English class. Today we are going to start the lesson number six. Okay, the lesson six. But first, let's watch this video. Okay. And tell me what greetings did we see in the video? Okay. Teacher, what is greetings? Who can tell me in Spanish? What is greetings? Who knows? What is greetings in Spanish? Saludos. Yes, Alexia, good job. That is, okay. In the video, we are going to see greetings from different countries around the world. Tell me how the people say hello in English, okay? So pay attention, please, okay? Okay, my friends, you see people do many different gestures to say hello, no, as, a, as greetings. Who can tell me one greeting? What kind of say hello? Tell me, Valentino. Uh, teacher, the air kiss. Oh, very good. Yes, the air kiss is one way, no? The air kiss is... Yes, teacher. And the Japan note is a reverence. Reverence, yeah, that is in English has a name. Uh, thank you, Valentina. That's good. Air kiss is okay. one way. Air kiss is one way. No, we practice this in many countries. The other, as Valentino says, is this the reverence is bow. Oh, sorry, the bow. Bow is the pronunciation. Okay, teacher, what is bow? This, this movement is bow. Is the way to say hello, no? It, can you imagine in class, hello teacher, like that? But it's usually in other countries like India, China, okay? Thailand, okay? That is about. In Peru, who can tell me what greetings the Peruvians use? Air kiss? Bow? Tell me, Valentino. Because also... Perdón, teacher, mi, mi micro está apagado. Ah, profe, um, uh, the handshake. Yes, the handshake we use in Peru. No, this greeting, the handshake. Between men and between women, we use this, the kiss. No, this, like the kiss. But usually we use the handshake. Well, my friends, today we are going to talk about that in our books, but it's not objective of the class. 
the objective of this class, my friends, is that you are going to present your writing. Okay? You are going to talk about your future vacation. You did your writing uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday. I checked your writing. So today you are going to present to the class. Okay? Remember, when you present, I'm going to consider this, that you speak with fluency, okay? And you need to talk about your paragraphs, remember, or the three paragraphs you wrote, okay? You need to present. And then you're going to get an A. If, you only, if, you're, uh, if your writing is incomplete, you are going to have a B. Because if your writing is incomplete, your presentation is going to be bad. It's going to be incomplete too. So you are, you are going to have a B. And if you didn't finish your writing, sorry, my friend, because your presentation will be bad. Okay? So be careful in that part. That is the objective of this class. You are going to present your writing. Okay, but first let's work in our books. Okay? And obviously then you are going to practice the spelling. Please open now your student books. Okay? Let's go to the page 78 and 79. Okay, please open your student books. Student books. Let's go to the page 78 and 79. Okay, let's talk about greetings and other traditions from different countries. Are you ready? Open your student books, page 78. Listen and repeat. Repeat, please. Shake hands. Shake hands. Shake hands. Shake hands. Shake hands. Repeat. Shake hands. Shake hands. Rub. 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 Repeat, please. Bow. 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 Bow, 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 yeah, thank you. It was good. Ricardo, please read the vocabulary. Shake hands. Rub. Bone. Polite. Repeat, please. Bow. Bow. Yeah, that is okay. And to finish, Manuel Aliaga. Manuel, please read the vocabulary. Snake hands. War. Wall, bullet. Repeat, please, Manuel. Shake hands. Shake hands. Rub. Rub. Bow. Bow. Okay, the rest is good. Well, shake hands, as you can see, is this gesture. Okay? Rub. Rub is when you have a present and you need to wrap it. That is wrap. Okay? Wrap. You have a present in a beer day or for your mom's day or for your dad's, and then you need to wrap the present. Forrar. Okay? Envolver. Bow, you know, is this gesture. And polite. Who can tell me who, what is this in Spanish? Polite. What is this word? Who knows? Can you repeat, Dana? 
corte, profesor? Not exactly. Polite means with education. Okay, do something, but with education. That is. Can you repeat, Donna? Educada. Yes, that is polite. Okay. Well, let's go to the article. Please listen to this article. Okay, let's let's talk about different traditions and how the people say hello in these countries. Oh, come on. Listen, please. Two, listen and answer. What kind of presents do you usually give to others in your country? Then read. Etiquette round the world. Do some of your friends come from another country? Are you going to visit them soon? Before you go, remember to learn a few things about what is polite and what isn't. In Italy, people shake hands and smile when they meet. It is a good idea to give a present when you visit someone's house. The best presents are some pink flowers, chocolates or sweets. Don't forget to wrap the chocolates or sweets in colourful paper. But be careful. Don't use black or purple coloured paper. They are unlucky colours. In China, people bow when they meet someone. Wrap presents in beautiful paper. Yellow or pink are good colours, but red is the best because it's their lucky colour. Always give and receive presents with both hands and bow. But be careful. Don't open the present in front of the person who gave it to you. In New Zealand, people shake hands when they meet. When you are eating, it isn't polite to put your elbows on the table. And when you visit someone's house, it is polite to give chocolates, flowers, or a book about your country as a present. You see, they talk about that. One more time, okay? Let's listen and read, please, at home, this article. Two, listen and answer. What kind of presents do you usually give to others in your country? Then read. Etiquette round the world. Do some of your friends come from another country? Are you going to visit them soon? Before you go, remember to learn a few things about what is polite and what isn't. In Italy, people shake hands and smile when they meet. It is a good idea to give a present when you visit someone's house. The best presents are some pink flowers, chocolates or sweets. Don't forget to wrap the chocolates or sweets in colourful paper. But be careful. Don't use black or purple coloured paper. They are unlucky colours. In China, people bow when they meet someone. Wrap presents in beautiful paper. Yellow or pink are good colours, but red is the best because it's their lucky colour. Always give and receive presents with both hands and bow. But be careful. Don't open the present in front of the person who gave it to you. In New Zealand, people shake hands when they meet. When you are eating, it isn't polite to put your elbows on the table. And when you visit someone's house, it is polite to give chocolates, flowers, or a book about your country as a present. You see? Well, according to the article, who can tell me how do people in Italy say hello? How? Shake hands and oh. smile. Very good, Rihanna. Yes, the people shake hands and smile. Good. And in China, how do people say hello? Another student, how do people Both. say The people go. Remember what oh. you think. Yes, bow. No, the people in China they bow. And in New Zealand, shake hands. Shake hands. Yes, one more time. No, shake hands. In which country 
purple color is a bad color in which country in new zealand in new zealand mm, Alexa. in italy italy, italy. 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 you see in italy, italy the purple color is bad it's a bad color it's an unlucky color okay well, in which country you must give and receive presents with the two hands, with both hands? In which country? China? Yes, in China. My friends, when you give a present, use the two hands. This is your present with two hands. And when you are going to receive the same, thank you with two hands, not with one. One is impolite. It's not good. Okay? You need to use two hands. Well, my friends, read one more time, please, the article. Because you need to tell me these sentences for what country they are. Okay? The number one is from China, from Italy, or from New Zealand. And number two, the same. For Italy? for China or for New Zealand? And number three, the same, okay? Please read one more time the article. I am going to give you two minutes. And if you finish, raise your hand because you're going to participate, okay? But first in your books, complete in your books. For example, that's five. It's polite to give a book as a present. In which country? Italy? China? Or New Zealand? Yeah, let's go. Let's New read. Zealand. Let's read, okay? Yeah, if you finish it, please raise your hand. I'm going to write your name next to some sentence. And then you participate there. I need three volunteers more, okay? But first, complete in your book. First, complete in your books, okay? One volunteer more. I need one student more for the number six. Okay, my friends, you are going to tell me this, okay? Tell me only, you read a sentence, and then you tell me, teacher is for Italy, teacher is for China, or teacher is for New Zealand, okay? Tell me the country. Dana, please, read the number one. You must... <coughs> you most born when you meet someone is um, C. Yeah, C is for China. Repeat. It's for China. For China. Very good here. Good job. It's for China. Alexa, please. Number two. Polite to him, being flowers as a present is for Italy. For Italy, yes, you're right. Good job. Valentino, tell me three. Jan say Valentino. Ah, teacher, teacher, me me cruzas apagado. Porque mi esposa es. 
It's good to wrap your present in red paper. China. Yes, for China. Thank you. Rihanna, please, four. It is simple to put your elbows on the table when you are eating. Um, New Zealand. Yes, good job, Rihanna. It's in a polite, no? It's not educated to put your elbows. That's elbows on the table. Thank you, Leonardo. Five. New Zealand teacher. It's polite to give to give a book of as a present. New Zealand. Excellent. Yes, talks about New Zealand. And finally, Sebastian, please six. Six. You must wear your present in purple color. Purple. It's Italian. Very good, Sebastian. Yes, in Italy, you mustn't wrap a present with purple. Not because it's a bad color. It's an unlucky color. Good. Good job. Thank you, Dana, Alexia, Valentino, Rihanna, Leonardo, and Sebastian. Thank you. Well, my friends, now we are going to practice in groups one conversation, okay? I suppose you finish this. Please, let's go to the page 76. 76 in your books. 76. We have a conversation here in this page. We didn't practice this conversation. We are going to practice, okay? But first, the vocabulary. Please, page 76. Vocabulary. Listen and repeat. Repeat, please. Stadium. 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 Okay, we are going to practice this conversation, how to accept or refuse invitations. An invitation is with this expression. For example, I can say, would you like to go to the cinema? This is an invitation. Would you like to go to the cinema? And to accept that invitation, you says, yes, I love to. Or the other option, sure, why not? Okay. If you don't want to go to the cinema, you can say, I'm sorry, I can't. You can say, I am afraid, I'm busy. I'm sorry, I've got other plans. I have to do my homework. You see? It's not necessarily only says yes, no, no, not exactly. We need to use new expressions. That means no. And new expressions, that means yes. Okay? Please repeat. Open your microphones. Repeat, please. Would you like to? Would you like? Would you like to? 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 Yes, I'd love to. Yes, I'd love to. Yes, I love to. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Sure, why not? Why not? Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Repeat, please. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm afraid I'm busy. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm sorry, 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 I'm sor
my friends, only this, okay? This conversation, this part. For example, let's see. Fernanda. Yes, teacher. Would you like to go shopping? Uh, sir, why not? Okay, let's go. See, because Fernanda says yes. This expression says yes. You see? Yeah, let's see other example. Let's see. Angelina, Angelina. Can we escuchar? Yes. Angelina, would you like to go to the beach? I am sorry. I can't. I can't. Oh, that's find that dress. Okay. You see? I say, let's go to the beach, and Angelina says, I'm sorry, I can't. This means no. I can't go to the beach. You see? That's good. Let's see. Jose Carlos. Jose Carlos, would you like to go to the stadium? Yes. I'd love to. Okay, let's go. Let's watch a game. A soccer game. You see? You are going to create, please, invitations. And then your friend says if they accept or no. Okay. And to finish, okay, one example more. Let's see. Christopher Soto. Christopher, would you like to play PlayStation? Yes, I love to. Okay, my friend, let's go at three o'clock, okay, at your house. You see? Please only practice this, this part, okay? This part in your book, page 76. In this part, use your ideas. Would you like to go to the cinema, to go shopping? Would you like to watch a movie? Would you like to play? Would you like to visit the park? Okay, any invitation. Let's practice this for seven minutes, okay? In groups, let's see. Oh, come on. Please accept the invitation, go to your groups, make some invitations. Would you like to, to go shopping? Would you like to watch a movie? Would you like to play football? Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Sebastián, Chara, Lucía, make an invitation, please. Hey, teacher. ¿Quién va a comenzar? You, Chara, make an invitation for Lucía. Okay. Uh, Would well, you like to go to the zoo? Yes, I love to. Shara, the same invitation for Sebastián. Well, teacher, la misma invitación o otra? Same, equal. Hello. Would you like to the stadium? Mm. Tomorrow? And Oh, okay. Yeah, other invitation. Leonardo, for Camila, please. Camila, who would you like to go see clean? 
Valentino, oh, what teacher. Okay, teacher. Would you like to go to the uh, to the restaurant to eat ice cream? Yes, I love to. No, oh, that's good. Now, Luciana, please, one invitation for Valentino. Um, do you like, do you like to, uh, have a pizza? Yes, I'd, uh, sure, why not? Good. Then you can continue, no? Let's meet at okay. 3 o'clock or let's meet on Saturday, on Sunday. You would can talk you, more. Would you like to play Roblox? Continue with the invitation. Please, Jose Carlos, for Ricardo. Yes, it's here. Jose Carlos, one invitation for Ricardo. Ricardo, what do you like to study? What are you going to do there? At seven o'clock. Yes, I'd like to cheer with not. Ricardo, only one expression. Only this or this. Uh, sure. Why not? Okay. My friends, this expression is to make invitations. Okay, for example, Nadine, would you like to go shopping tomorrow? Would you like to go shopping tomorrow? I am I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah, that's good. What about Sunday, other day? Not Saturday, Sunday. Maybe in that case you can say, no, yes, I love to. In Sunday, I am free. Okay, the invitations, it depends. You can accept or refuse. Okay, Nadine, please, one invitation for Jose Carlos. Jose Carlos, how you like to swimming pool? I'm sorry, I don't. Yeah, that's good. Okay, my friends, to finish, please open your microphones. Repeat. Would you like to? 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 Yes, I'd love to. Yes, yes, I love. I love. I love. I love to. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? I can't. I'm sorry. 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 I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm okay, my friends, let's stop here. Well, let's continue with our active pause. Then we continue with uh, with your writings, okay? You're going to present your writings. Please stand up. Let's move a little. Then we continue with our presentations. 
Stanat, Diana, Abril, Fernanda, Stanat. Okay, only that, my friends. Sit down, please. Now we are going to present our writings, okay? Well, a ver, chicos, el día de ayer ya se te ha revisado. Cuando abras tu link, ya sabes, lo que está en rojo es lo que tienes que corregir. Por ejemplo, acá dice, ¿no? In my last vacation, I went to Wanco. Falta una palabra, falta la palabra to. Lo correcto sería, in my last vacation, I went to Wanco. ¿Ok? Si dice falta punto, ya sabes que tienes que poner. Period at the end. Si dice incomplete, es que no has completado. Es incomplete. You need to complete. ¿Ok? Please open your links. You need to check your writings. And then you are going to present. If your writing is ok, you are going to present. Teacher, ¿Puedo volver a enviar? Link, por favor? Yes, yes, I'm going to give you one more time, but if you have, please, open your writings, ¿ok? Yo sé que algunos sabemos guardar ya los links. Open, please, open your, your links, ¿ok? Check the corrections. And then, if you are ready, you can present. If your presentation is all is in blue, that means that it's okay. So you can present. Oh. Massimo, Paolo, Rihanna, Luciana, go to the chat, open your links. Ricardo, go to the chat, open your links. Dana, the same. Pero ahora yo ya tenía mi link. Oh, it's, that's good. It's good, Sebastian. Chara, Fernanda, uh, Sebastian, go to the chat. Fabricio, Sayed, go to the chat. If you are ready, raise your hand, okay? Because you are going to present your, your writing. Lucia, Jose Carlos, Valentina, go to the chat. Teacher, me podría pasar a mí. Profe, a mí me mandó el link de Luciana Canes. Yeah, sorry, de... sorry, Vale. Creo que era de Luciana. Sorry, Ricardo. Yes. But one of those is your is yours. Nadine, go. Camila, go to the chat. Leonardo, go. Alexia, go. Maria Gracia, go to your chat. Christopher, the same. 
So and Valentino, go to the chat. Okay, my friends, open please your writings, check the mistakes. And if you are ready, raise your hand, okay? Teacher, uh, yo, plano, yo, yo les olvido todos los errores, profe. Oh, if you want to present now, Valentino, it would be excellent. No, teacher, uh, voy, voy a prepararme más. Yeah, that's good. Yes, you can have five or ten minutes to prepare. Check the pronunciation. If you are using numbers, the same. If you are using new words, new vocabulary, the same. Be careful in that part. Profesor, disculpe. Yes, Luciana. Yo estoy en el celular porque me la tomo con este internet. Por nada, no tengo internet. No tengo internet. No tengo internet. Yo estoy por celular. ¿Me podría decir cómo puedo editar la, la PC por ahí, por el celular? ¿Por qué no se puede? I can help you, Luciana. Luciana, ¿Qué? para editarlo, para editarlo, te aparece un botón que editar en explorador. Tienes que hacer clic primero ahí. Sí, por eso entonces voy ahí y ahí, ahí le aprecio. Claro, si no puedes editarlo es que tu celular no tiene lector de PowerPoint, por eso es que no lo puede editar. But if you don't present today, my friends, your writing. You need to give me an audio or a video of your presentation. Okay? Today you must present your writing. If you didn't finish or we don't have enough time at the end, you need to send me an audio or a video. So it's better than that you present now. Okay? Because some of you finish it. For example, Paolo, Ricardo, Dana. Fabricio, Angelina, Jose Carlos, Leonardo, Alexia, Zoe, Valentino, you finish it, you write it. Teacher, I am Christopher. It's yeah, not mistakes. It's you revise it, please. Oh, one more time. I'm going to check one more time, okay? Yeah, let's see. No, remember always like this, no? I mean, a short introduction. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, classmates. This is my project. In my last vacation, you talk about your last vacation, and then you talk about your next vacation. Valentino, hat. Hat is the pass of hat. Hat. McDonald's, capital letter, Valentino. Donald's is a proper oh, name. Sorry, chair. The rest is good. A period here, you see? You finish a period. No, but the rest is good. Pichanaki, check please the name, Valentino, in Google. How do you spell Pichanaki? It's different. It's with K I. It's not with Q U I. Yes, Lucy, I'm going to check your writing. Let's see. But first, Christopher. Okay, let's see. Yeah, now it's okay, Christopher, you're writing. Now it's good. Okay, so give me a minute, okay? Okay, go to the bathroom if you want to go.
you see a period don't forget you finish one sentence one idea a period oh lucia in this part is future tense we are going to professor no me parece lo que me dijo we are going to take a tour future tense going to and then the action the same we go to my house now this is present tense it's in future you need to use future lucia let's go to a mall is present tense future tense going to we are going to go to my cousin's house to play future tense lucia okay it's in future okay fernanda give me a minute Oh, your, your writing is good. Sorry, it's good. I check it. Please, who wants to present? Raise your hand, please, if you are going to present. Profesor, esa parte la puse de rojo, por si acaso. It's okay. It's okay, Fernando. Your writing is good. Okay, one minute more, my friends, and I am going to call according to the list, okay, for your presentations. Because, you know, we don't have much time. The next week is the evaluation the revision, the platform, because we didn't finish the platform. And we don't have much time. Today you must present. Oh, yes, Fabricio, it's good. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, I am going to call some students to present, okay? According to the list, Manuel Aliaga. Manuel, are you going to present? Yes, sí, profesor. ¿Tú lo puedes presentar, por favor? ¿Lo puedes compartir? Yes, I can share. But you check it, no? The mistakes, the red words. But you see, Manuel, is incomplete yours. You see, this is yours. The one is good, but the number two is incomplete. You see, incomplete. You need to finish, Manuel, and then you need to give me a, an audio. Okay? Because you're you writing. Yeah. Massimo Balta. Massimo, can you present now? Teacher, todavía no, lo estoy terminando. Okay, but you need to send me an audio, Massimo. We don't have much time because the time is okay, for all your friends. It's not for. Okay, Fabricio, are you going to present? Share, please. Share yes, teacher. Okay. Teacher, can you see? Yes. Okay, teacher. 
Hello, my name is Fabricio. I'm going to tell you about my last and my next vacation. In my last vacation, I went to Tumbes. First, my family and I went to the hotel and we went to the plaza of Tumbes to have dinner. The next day, we hired a tour to visit all the places. Next, we went to Puerto Pizarro and we see many cocodrides. In the evening, we had dinner in the Plaza of Tumbers and we sleep after. Finally, we went to all the beaches and we returned happily to airport to return to, to our house. In my next vacation, I'm going to travel to Lima. We are going to go because we want to go to a dinosaur temet restaurant. First, we will to we will go to Lima traveling by car. Next, we will go to our house and get everything ready to go out. Then we will arrive and eat watching the show. The second day, we are going to go to diversity. Then we are going to go to Wachipa Zoo. Next we will see many animals. Finally, we are going to go to our house to watch movies. It's going to be the best vacation. Thank you. Nice, Fabricio. What's excellent. I love the pictures you put in your presentation. Excellent job, Fabricio. Thank you, teacher. Well, the next student, Valentino Jense. Valentino, please share your screen. Okay, teacher. Ah, teacher, lo dejé tantos puntos de lado mi Google Point que está cargando bastante. Ya está, teacher. Ok. Hello, my name is Valentina uh, and I'm, I'm going to tell you about my last and next vacation. On my last vacation, I went to Pishanaki with my little brother, my mom and my dad. We stayed in the hotel Arby's. First, we went to eat uh, to a restaurant called The Pond, and we visited the park and took photos. The next day, we had a tour in a lake, and we saw strange plants. Next, we went to a restaurant to eat ice cream. It was very good. In the evening, we visited a waterfall. We went swimming and we returned to the hotel and we returned to the hut. Final, we ate ice cream again and we went to a restaurant. In my next vacation, I will travel to New York. We are going to go swimming. First, we will have a long tour. Next, we will visit a museum. Then we will go to a good restaurant. The second day, we are going to stay in the hotel and watch TV. Then we will visit the Statue of Liberty. Next, we will visit McDonald's. And finally, we are going to go to the most big park in New York. It's going to be the best vacation. Thank you. Nice presentation, Valentina. Was good. My friends, vacation, okay? Vacation is the pronunciation, not vacation. Ba vacation. That's good. Let's continue. Christopher, please share your screen. Okay, teacher. Hello, my name is Christopher Camilo Miguel Soto Mujica. I am going to tell you about my last and my next vacation. First, my family and my two uncles and my two cousins arrived at their house. The next day went to the park of Firemon. Next ten with Ryan through the park and the scene some exercise. And the evening we went to eat pop edges. Finally, we went home and sleep. 
in my next vacations, I am going to travel to Mexico. We're going to eat and see some things. First, we are going to visit place, for example, River Maya, Mazatlán, Quetrano, etc. Next, I will go to eat and will go home. They will sleep to more place. The second day, we are going to continue to more place. Then we eat in the restaurant. Next, I go back to my house. Finally, we are going to sleep. I will the best vacations. Thank you, Christopher. Good job. Dana, it's your turn, please. Good morning, teacher and classmates. This is my project in my last vacation. In my next vacation, I am going to the Don't worry, Dan, it's okay. Return, okay? Hay que regresar a la diapositiva 1. The rest, please, my friends, you need to finish your writing, then prepare for your presentation. And if you want to present, please raise your hand, okay? Hello, my name is Dana Tavion Villanueva. I am going to do about my last and my next vacation. On my last vacation, I'm going to Arequipa. Here, my family and I arrive at the house of my aunt. And we rested the next day with Juan Yanaguara. It was very beautiful, but it was very hot there. Next, we went to Mollendo. We visited the beach. It was very beautiful. In the, the, in the evening, we went to Mollendo. Finally, we went to dinner at the Rosquipa restaurant. In my next vacation, vacation, I'm going to travel to Chile. We are going to go by planet. Here I'm going to go by team. Here we are going to go to the beach of Wanchaco to ride on the Caballito de Totora, Wanchaco, to ride on the Next, we are going to eat to Hijo Fun in a restaurant on the week. Then at night, we will go to Cape. A delicious ice cream because it is always hot there. The second day, we are going to the citadel of Chan Chan. Then we will run to Waka of the Sun and the Moon. Next, we will go to lunch at the tourist beach. Finally, we are going to go 
the history center of Trujillo. It's going to be the best vacation. Thank you. Good job, Dana. Was good. I like your pictures too. Thank you. Sajet, it's your turn, please. Yes. Hello, my name is Sajet. I am going to tell you about my last and my next vacation. In my last vacation, I went to Machu Picchu and stayed in, in a hotel in the Inca Palace. First, we go to the hotel and bathed, and at night, we went for a walk around the city. The next day, we went to Machu Picchu. Next, we went back to the hotel and they invited us lunch. In the evening, we went to sleep. Finally, we went to Lima and, and then to Huancayo. In my next vacation, I'm going to travel to Lima. We are going to go to Lima. We will go to the hotel where we have lunch. We we will go to the mail to buy things. We will to then we will go, go to the sleep. The second time we are going to the beach. The beach then then the, we'll go to the beach. Next we will go at fish. Finally we are going to go. Juan Cayo, it's going to be the best vacation. Gracias. Okay, Sayed, thank you. But Sayed, remember, I checked your writing. It's missing many periods. You finish an idea, period. Finish an idea, period. Remember that, please. And Lima is capital letter. I remember that I checked your writing. Okay, remember, proper nouns are the names of cities the name of places, the name of the restaurants, the name of the food you eat, please, they are in capital letter. Okay, be careful in that part. Luciana, please, it's your turn. Teacher, lo voy a convertir un ratito. A ver. ¿Ya puedes ver, profesor? ¿Se ve? No. No. Yeah. Ahora sí puede ver, profesor. Profesor. Is Charlene? Yes, Luciana. Yeah. Hello, my name is Luciana. I'm going to the Joe about my last vacations. In my last vacation appears in the afternoon. I are Luciana, in Lima. Sorry. Luciana, perdona que te corte. Ready? Yo les envié su link antes a las nueve y quince para que revises, Luciana. Ahí dice falta punto, falta punto. Mi ¿verdad? profesor, es que no lo puedo editar. Luciana, pero... No lo puedo editar, profesor. No lo puedes presentar así porque está incompleto. De nada va a servir que lo presente. Mm -hmm. Primero debes... Ya, y después recién lo presentes. ¿Y cómo haría para editarlo? Porque no puedes editarlo. Tienes que ir a una computadora. No tengo la computadora ahorita. No tengo internet en la computadora. No puedo ayudarte en ese caso. Tienes que en la tarde tienes que regresar a tu computadora. Tienes que corregirlo ahí. Grabas tu audio y me lo envías. Ya, profesor. Soy, please, share your screen. Please, I gave you your links. 
Check your links, okay? Correct. Teacher, puede ver? Yes, sir. Now, one more time, don't worry, it's okay. One more time. Yes. Hello, my name is Zoe Villegas. I am going to tell you about my last and my next vacation. In my last vacation, in my last vac vacation, I went to Dunawana. I went to Dunawana. Here's my family and I arrived at the hotel. Arrived at the hotel and we rested in the pool. The next day, we all went to the Plaza Nunawana. It was amazing. Next, we went to La Merced. We visited the waterfall, the tiger. Was very beautiful because in the morning, the sun is amazing. In my, in my next vacation, I am going to travel to Argentina. We are going to go by plane. Here's my parents, my sister and me are going to go to the Mar de Pampas. It's one beach and we are going to play in the sea. Next, we are going to eat in La Cabaña Argentina and we are going to eat and drink one cake and tea. Then going to the hotel in the evening. The second day, we are going to the waterfall Iguazú, which is very beautiful. Then we are going to a pool in the hotel. Next, we are going to eat in the Don Julio. Finally, we are going to walk in the city. It's going to be the best, vac the, the best vacation. Thank you for your attention. Nice presentation, Zoe, it was good. It's nice, it was very good. Thank you, Gear. And continue with Ricardo. Share please your screen, Ricardo. And then Rihanna, okay? Let's see. Hello, my name is Ricardo. And I'm going to tell you about my last and my next vacation. In my last vacation, I went to La Merced. First, I with my family will look it for bungalows. Ricardo, to... stop, stop, sorry, Ricardo. Aquí te he corregido, ves? También dice, my dad, la palabra my dad está repetida. Dice, my dad, my dad. Esta frase que pusiste también está repetida porque acá dice, it was all delicious. It was very delicious. ¿Ve? Está repetida la frase. Please, my friends, when you open your links, check your writing. Correcto. Pero, profe, yo ya la había corregido. Yeah, but really strange. Please, Tal check. Tal vez no se ha guardado, porque ahorita sí se ha guardado, me pareció guardando. Check, please, Ricardo, ¿ok? Rihanna, share your screen. Then you present, ¿ok, Ricardo? Rihanna, share, please. Chicos, revisen desde la diapositiva 1. 1, the 2, the 3, the 4. ¿Ok? Check. Go ahead, Rihanna. The next class on Tuesday, we, you, we are going to continue, okay? But because we don't have much time. Rihanna, share your screen. We have four minutes. Okay. Good morning, teacher and classmates. 
I will present, I am going to tell you about my last and my next vacation. Rihanna, I am going to present, okay? Yeah, this is your writing, Rihanna. Continue. Rihanna, continue. This is your writing. Teacher. In my last vacation, I went to Lima. First, my mom and I went to the bus terminal to go to Lima. When we arrived, we went to my uncle's house. He resided us with the delicious Lomo Saltado. The next day, I went to visit my cousin. Then I went to the jockey plaza with him and my mom. First, we went to Happy Land to play. Then we had lunch and ice cream. After I will, we play on trampolines and boat clothes. The next morning, we had pancakes for breakfast. And in the afternoon, we went to the large commercial shopping center and had lunch. At night, we went for a walk with my, my mother along the Malikon. And when I got home, my mother prepared beef to start. The last day, I went to the Gran Javilla. First, I went to see the farm animals and I feed them. It was very nice. Then I went to the right and it was super fun. At night, we went to dinner and walked along the beach. The next day, I woke up at five o'clock to go to the airport. The we took off at eight ten past eight. We arrived at nine o'clock. I feel good when I return home. In my next vacation, I am going to travel to La Merced. When we arrive, we are going to go to a hotel with a swimming pool to stay all those days. First, I would like to visit my friends who live there and play for a while. Next, I would like to know the city a little more to sit. Finally, I would like to go to a hotel to rest. The second day, I would like to go to the tourist cities of the place to have fun and take a walk with my family. Then I would like to go to lunch and eat tropical local food, typical local food. Then go to the hotel to get our things ready. Finally, we're going back to Huancayo it will be the best vacation. Thank you. Thank you, Rihanna. It was nice, it was long. You talk about two paragraphs in past tense, two in future tense. That was good. Well, my friends, we don't have much time. The next class, we are going to continue with the presentations. Okay, please check your 